Thanks, guys, for taking time today. Uh, my first question is for Jeffrey. How does it feel to play a character on TV that actually isn't dead or in a flash? Oh, well, again, I don't know what's going to happen. Um, <laughs> I, I made it through the first year, which is uh, a first for me um, on any television show, um, which was thrilling. Um, but again, you know, as this season goes, uh, you know, the journey that Ike's on is leading to you know, some dangerous spots, so so we'll see where where we go. But as far as being in the show and knowing that I'm not dead yet, it's been great. It's kind of liberating as an actor to know you're not going to die in two episodes. <laughs> <laughs> and from what I've seen so far, Ike seems really laid back for the high position that he's in. Uh, Ike have a dark side to him? Um, I, see, I don't, I don't think it that way. I, I think... Um, I think he puts on a front in front of, well, everyone, uh, of this charming guy that's a little laid back. But I think what you see behind closed doors is not a guy that's laid back. It's a guy that's making hard decisions that, you know, people's lives depend on, including his own. Um, and, and so this sort of air that he gives out of everything being okay, and, and he does, he gives that to everyone. His wife is shady business partners, everybody. He has to. Um, but then behind closed doors, you see you see the cracks. You see the burden that he's carrying. Um, and I don't think he's very laid back in those situations. And, again, you've seen three episodes. I think as this goes on, um, it'll be very telling about Ike's personality. And, and I think this laid back charm he has is going to be put to a test. Now as far as has renewed Magic City for a second season before they even aired one episode. Does this put any more or less pressure on you as the lead actor and as Mitch as the series creator? Uh, you want to take the first part of that, Mitch? Go. Yeah, absolutely. No, no. I, 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 um, it might be, it might be misguided confidence, but, but, uh, you know, I always assumed it, 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 there is a, a special joy in seeing the, uh, Chris Albrecht smile, and the uh, congratulations thing, but um, which was great. But I always, I always had a feeling that we were uh, going to be going forward, and and I'd already started kind of mapping out or planning in my head uh, a second season. And and um, I don't know, I, I've never done television before, so I don't know the politics of of announcing or what any of that means. I just, I, I, I what I do know is is uh, stars and Chris Albrecht in particular, you know, have a passion for the show and and um he hasn't been sh shy about that so um you know i i his support and and kind of excitement about it is great fuel for all of us and uh you know i i don't feel any more pressure you know than i would have uh if we were waiting to hear or it's a relief truthfully i mean i, I can just kind of proceed and and uh you know i have i have writers this time and as opposed to writing all of them as i did last year and uh you know i think i'll look better at the end of the year things like that you now the, oh, the I, I, on the other hand, feel shitloads of pressure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, for for me, this is this is uh, this is my baby. It's Mitch's baby, and it's my baby. And totally, I feel pressure today uh, because I know this show is going to be seen tonight. So we're we're letting our baby out of its crib for the first time. And there's something really nice about having that to ourselves. And and uh, to let it be out there and, and you know, uh, for people to judge with, uh, something that you love so much is you always feel the pressure. And I'd be crazy if I said, oh, it's just great. I feel pressure every single day. That being said, I wouldn't want to operate on any other axis. I like the pressure, and I think that brings out the best in, in me, and I think it brings out the best in Mitch, regardless of what he'll tell you how cool he is. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, 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 I'm, I, I think I misunderstood the question. Only in that, it, whether it was pressure, you know, going forward into a second year, the, 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 the uh, expectations, the pressure that we put on ourselves. I mean, truthfully, when I would walk into a read-through and the cast was, was reading the, the the new episode for the first time. Um, the, the the expectation level and the and the ambition level and the and the pressure was self imposed meaning you know Jeff and I were were feeling that we were operating at a certain level and and you just wanted to continue it and so I feel that you know when I'm in with writers and kind of the storytelling and I just wanted to get better and bigger and 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 more powerful and 
but as far as the world thing, it's just absolutely right. I mean, it's a this is a you know it's a vulnerable feeling because um, we've just been hugging each other, saying how how much we're enjoying it through the whole process, and and now it's in the world, you know, which is what we're doing it for. But but yeah, there's there's definitely pressure attached. I'm not that cool. Well, you know, also having announced the second season. It is. It's great. It, it it is. It's a huge sense of relief because we just started telling the story. You know, we. I just. Uh, you know, am getting to live with Ike. I, I had uh, six months living in his shoes, and I really like this guy. And I like. Um, I like telling the story. I like telling Mitch's story, and and so that part of going into season two is is a, a huge relief and. And knowing that this network and Chris Albright has this confidence in us before we even air an episode, there is a certain amount of of confidence that certainly gives us uh, as artists moving forward. I'll say that. Oh, great. And I just have one last question for Jeffrey. I just want to know, how do you feel about the Seahawks signing Matt Flynn? <laughs> Uh, look, I, I think it's a, I think it's a good move. Um, Mitch, on the other hand, is a Miami Dolphin fan, so he was yeah. kind of hoping that he was going to get Flynn. So I'm just horrified. Take special, special pleasure in the fact that we got him. Quarterback. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. We need a quarterback. Jackson wasn't cutting it. Um, I still think we probably should have kept Hassel back for a year or two. I think he had some some gas left in the tank, as proven the last year. Um, but I'm not going to lie. I had I had a little dream about Peyton Manning um, that, that died rather quickly. But I think Matt Flynn, you know, let's see him prove it for a season, not just a game. We could end up – the Dolphins could end up with Jeff playing quarterback next season. I mean, <laughs> I, 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 I'll be down there. I'll give it a go. That's what I'm saying. We'll work you out. 